Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today I thought in January I might try and tie up a loose end, uh, which is the long term project I've been working on, which is the Sermon on the Mount in these blog posts. And this is post number 30, I think it is. Uh, and it's the golden rule. It's just one verse tucked away into Matthew chapter um, 7, verse 12, which says this. So in everything you do, um, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Um, it's a famous rule, a famous principle, so often not applied. Uh, but Jesus makes this extraordinary claim that just this one way of thinking and acting puts you in alignment with the law and the prophets. That is the, the witness of, bib, of biblical, um, uh, of scripture, the word of God. That all we, if we just start to do to others what they would, we would have them do to us, if we just start to think, how would I like to be treated and how might I therefore in integrity treat that person? We, we automatically enter a different mode of being and thinking and acting. We start to move in alignment with and in the atmosphere of the law and the prophets. This is the, the key to godly living. Um, and Jesus says that himself. We, the problem of sin, of course, and therefore of many of the social ills that infect our relationships and our communities is that we are us-centric, we are self-centred. And we think we think about everything. We filter everything through the lens of self and our wants and our desires and our demands and our interests and the narratives that we tell ourselves to justify ourselves. And actually, if if we, we came to situations rather than with demands, with a kind of an imagining ourselves into the shoes of the other person, that would go a long way towards transforming the situation and our attitudes towards them and help us to start acting logical, logically. Because actually, when people start realising they're being treated as they want to be treated, um, they, they, they relax and they stop um, trying to beat their own drum. And actually, it opens the, the path to dialogue and to relationship and to, to, to love, basically. And so this week, perhaps the simple challenge is, is take one or two situations in your life, maybe where there's some problem or breakdown and, uh, and, uh, and there's a bit of a battle going on with somebody, and just stop to think, how would this feel if I were in their shoes? How would I like to be treated if I were them? And how might I do that? That simple principle might unlock the situation. So have a think about that this week. Maybe even brainstorm the, the situation from their perspective and, and look for it to be transformed accordingly.